Hiya Jock! Change of scenery. We're at the home studio today because we've just done a live um, for our ProTech um, tool collection. So you need to check that video out. So we are filming from the home studio today. And I'm gonna show you how to do some snowflakes, very Christmassy, different ways to do snowflakes. So let's get cracking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Lust, which is, a, we do two really bright reds, but I'm going to use Lust today. So we have Lust and we have um, Jessica Rabbit for today. I'm going to use Lust. I'm working on the Ariane finger. Ariane finger? I don't know if it's a finger or a thumb. Oh yeah. I think it's a thumb. Yeah, it's got that thumb likeness to it. Yeah, they do do, they do loads of different things. Um, but yeah, it's just easy to work on, especially if you're practicing or if you want to sort of showcase what you can do to your clients, then you can practice on your Ariana, either hand or your um, finger or thumb. Oh, does that magnet onto there, does yeah, it? Yeah, it's a magnet one. Oh, oh so you can take it out and put it in the lamp and... Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Mm. Doesn't answer back to you. No. Doesn't say, ow, you're pinching your finger or thumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Stay still. Doesn't keep going on the phone and moving around, you know, like somebody we know. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that is our sort of background colour. And what I'm going to do, because I'm mixing colours here by layering, we're going to use Dorothy. Now, Dorothy always comes out at Christmas. She's a colour for Christmas. So she I always see Dorothy as in like the, the, the film The Wizard of Oz as being a Christmas film. Do you Even really? though it's not a Christmas film. But it may, but it's because it's, it's always on at Christmas. Exactly. So it yeah. just gives you that like absolute love of Christmas feel. Definitely. I I love the Wizard of Oz. Mm, me too. Absolutely love it. So we're going to do a thin coat of this, so we still see the colour Lust popping through. Now if you wanted a dark sparkly one, you could just use, you could just use Dorothy slippers. But if you want it a bit lighter, then pop it over Lust and you'll just have a, a bit of a lighter, brighter kind of red. I'm just going to use one coat, look at that. That actually looks like Dorothy slippers. I always wanted a pair of Dorothy slippers. <laughs> like, like they were, I felt like they were going to work for me like they did for her. <laughs> not sure what, you're going to get chased by an evil witch? Well, not no, no, really want the evil <laughs> witch side, no. You're going to meet a scarecrow? And a tin man? And a lion? Mm -hmm. Oh my. <laughs> um, right, I want Do you know, the Tin Man, he nearly died because the paint because that they Because of the wonderful on, things he does. <laughs> the paint that they put on him to make him look tin. Yeah, had lead in it. Was, no, it was aluminium yeah. and, and it gave him poisoning. Um, and he almost died. He had to have like loads of surgery and stuff like that. And, mm. My God, I didn't know that. Yeah, I only found out the other day. Going to use white out, and we're going to use the Abba Dabba, Abba Dabba Ding Dong. <laughs> now, if you're doing this on a real person, you want to make sure you kind of protect the um, skin because it's Aliana. We don't give a damn. <laughs> Will it just peel off? It'll peel off if you hit that skin. Yeah, because she's she's silicon. She's fake, she's it got won't It won't take a layer off. No. So what we're going to do is dab, 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 dab. Around. We're going to do this a few times. So two layers, because we're going to feel kind of like a, a cast <laughs> shadow, where it wants to be as if it's like snow. Around the nail. Oh, 
And what you can do is do, you know if you're doing that on a real person you don't want to touch, you can put your polish roughly at the cuticle area and then use the very point of the abadabba and that will avoid touching the skin. being a little bit more precise with it. Just want to blend that a little bit more. And once I'm happy I can go in the lamp. To the lamp. So I'm going to repeat that. Gonna paint this down the sides as well. And use that very tip I want that white a bit heavier on the edge. Just painted that on. And I'm going to turn to a clean part of the sponge to just blend a little bit more. So it's like we have a snowy frosted edge. Let's pop that in the lamp. So I'm just using what's on the, you know, what's left over. <laughs> I hope you're quick at moving. Oh, really? <laughs> Do I need a safe word? <laughs> She's got a blow! <laughs> <laughs> Let me just cure that. All right, I'm going to top coat this because I want to work on this shiny surface because I want to contrast between the shiny nail and the snowflake. So I'm using the Messy Nessie brush, which is perfect for these kind of little details. And what I want to do is kind of map out of what I'm going to, this snowflake. We're going to do quite a big snowflake, so I'm just going to do a little dot there. And then I'm going to go here. So we're going like around like a clock, but not as many points. Does that make sense? Then we're going to use the Lily Liner. So the Lily Liner is a long brush. Let me just check that that's quite nearly the gel in it. Ah, I see. Thought it felt a little bit weird, and it's got a little bit of red. 
jam in it. So let's clean that out. Just going to use the clean up solution to take the colour out. going to do our little clock from top to bottom if you get scared of doing the big long line go to the middle Stop and reset your balance. Go again. Instead of going all the way, you don't have to do that. You can just do one line in at a time. And then I want a dot between each. Of these segments. Segments. I like that word. Segments. Segments. Makes me think of an orange though. I do like oranges, especially mm. at Christmas. Mm. Get like an orange in your stocking. Used to, didn't you, when you were. Mm. What do you mean used to? Well. I'm, used to? I'm not that old. I, I still get them. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. What, in me stocking? I always get an orange in me stocking. Get lost. Will I? No. Do you not have stockings? No. Do you not? Oh, you deprived child, you. I used to have stockings. I My kids have stockings, but they definitely don't have an orange in them. Oh, poor buggers. What I normally do with the stockings is I normally like fill it with like just the, the small presents that you can't be bothered to wrap up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or the small, not the small expensive presents though, because they have to go in the main pile. Um, the things like, you know, socks, pants, bit of makeup, things like that. Ooh. They go in the stocking. So we're just doing little kind of rooftops. Little rooftops. Yeah. I know what a roof is. First check. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is, we're going to take, where are you? Pammy Pecker Upper. Two hours later. Right, Pammy Pecker Upper. Got a dot here and here. Dot, 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 like that. And then we're going to pull from the dot. To the line, make it kind of like a 45 degree angle, and we'll finish with a little dot, and we'll add a little dot in the middle. And what we're going to do with, with the rest of them is exactly the same. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dot these corners. I think it just kind of finishes them off. And then we're going to add some little dots as if it's snow falling like it is on our website at the minute. I know, everyone loved that. I didn't yeah. even add it. I was like, oh, that's really cute. Yeah, so if you go to our website um, and it's currently December, you will see that it is snowing on the website. And the snowman jiggles. I love that. I didn't know that at all until Vanessa said, and that was brilliant there. Oh, that is so cute. Pop that in the lamp. Yeah, that's and that's quite a quick sort of salon speed. 
designer, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And a wooden gel. I mean, you don't have you to do, do it on every nail. No, no, no. I would have just yeah. plain red nails with the glitter mm -hmm. on the other nails. Just have like a couple of accent nails. Yeah. Or you could like um, maybe fade. Do you know when we use the Pammy Pricks? Mm -hmm. When we use the Abba Dabba and mm -hmm. you kind of like fade up, you could do a red with a bit of a like snowy fade up there. Yeah. And a few little dots. Mm -hmm. and that'd be enough you wouldn't have to do the actual snowflake on every single nail but it looks quite wow i think it looks like it's taken quite a while but it, it wasn't that didn't take that long at all and i like the red glitter popping through so let's put the top coat on this is going to seal in the design and it's going to make it extra shiny. I mean, you could do it matte. It's probably quite cool matte. Maybe we'll do both for you so you can see the difference. So that's with shiny. This is now going to be matte. So let's see. And if you like matte, ooh, what can we put? What emoji can we put? If you like the shiny, put a um, snowflake. If you like it matte, put a red love heart. Mm. Not sure which one I'm going to like the best. <laughs> so just a quick note, when you're cleaning your palettes, clean them dry first with some dry paper towel and then put some clean-up solution on. And give it a rub and wipe it all off. So that's matte. What do you think? I like it. I like it. I think I prefer it matte. I think you prefer everything matte. I do. I like that. Oh, it looks proper like wintry. It's proper Christmas. And I'm a bit of a Grinch when it comes to Christmas. I'm honest. But I actually like that. So there you are guys. How to paint a snowflake with a bit of misty snow. I do like the feel of a mat as well. Mm. It's a sensory thing, I think. But yeah, everything of you today will be listed below. Don't forget to check, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, all our social media platforms. And I will see you in the next video.